So sometimes situations come up in the exam where they want you to find the longest diagonal inside of a box or, I don't know, heights of pyramids or pretty much anything to do with a three-dimensional shape. So for me, if I ever see a three-dimensional shape in the exam, I'm pretty much going to be assuming that they're wanting me to use Pythagoras in two steps to find the diagonal that goes from the bottom front to the top back corner, for instance, the longest line through the box. So in this case, we have to do it in two steps um, to find out what it is. And one way that's helpful to do it is to look at first doing a right angle triangle along the bottom of the box. So if you can imagine that I flip the bottom of the box up so that we can just stare straight at it, it's 2 by 5 on the bottom. That's the surface down at the bottom. If I put a diagonal across it, I've got a right angle triangle. Now that's not the longest diagonal inside of this box. The longest one is going to come from using that as the bottom of the next triangle, but this is the first one we have to find, the diagonal across the bottom. So that's the longest side, um, we'll call it C here. C will be equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared. And that is going to be equal to... Um, square root of 29, which you can leave like that. Or if you're not comfortable with that, 5.385. Okay. So that's um, this diagonal here, and that's the length, again, across the bottom of the box. So we now know that that has a distance of 5.38, 5 meters, big box. And the next thing I'm going to want to find is a triangle that's kind of vertically placed along the middle of the box. So the next triangle that I would look at would now have a bottom of 5.385 and a top edge of 3 meters. Because it's sharing this edge of the box, 3 meters tall, with the diagonal across the bottom of the box, which we've just discovered is 5.385. So now we have a second set of Pythagoras, and this will be the longest side. So we could say it's going to be equal to the square root of 5.8, sorry, 385 squared plus 3 squared. we we'll put that into our calculator. We get 6.16 meters. So that's the longest dimension that goes inside the box. That's this one here, 6.16 meters. So that's how we've done it. Um, and it will work for you. So you've got to think about flipping the box upside down so you can stare at the bottom. This is the bottom. Find the diagonal across the bottom, and once you know that, you're going to use the tall side, so the upright side, to find out a new triangle that goes vertically across the middle of the box to find the longest side. So in this worksheet, there's a few more examples for you to give a try at. Um, and yeah. I would give a go at them. I'm going to leave this one here for you to work on, but I'm just going to look at that language here. So instead of finding the longest diagonal, I've asked here what is the longest stick that can fit inside this box? And that is again the longest diagonal. It's no different. You're going to go from the bottom front to the top back corner, and you'll still use this triangle across the bottom first, and then the vertical one. Um, one of the examples that I do want to look at, though, is this guy here. How tall is the pyramid? So this is, again, another three-dimensional shape, so I should be thinking, okay, I need to use Pythagoras a few times to figure out what's going on. And same as before, think about finding that diagonal across the bottom. Because what they want us to find is this guy here, from sort of the center of the pyramid, how far is it to the top of the pyramid? So if I was a person standing inside of it, how tall could I possibly be to fit inside of there? And they've given me the dimensions of the bottom, it's a 4 by 4 square, and I can see that this long edge along the edge of the pyramid is 12 centimeters. 
but I don't have enough information yet. And like a lot of these problems, we just got to look for right angle triangles to throw in there. So we do have one here. If I look at the bottom of the triangle, that's 4 by 4, or the bottom of the pyramid, sorry, 4 by 4, I can find that there. So that's 4 squared <coughs> plus 4 squared square rooted, which is equal to the square root of 32. If you leave it as that, you'll get a more precise answer, but if that scares you, um, 5.657, roughly. So I know the distance across the bottom through the middle is going to be 5.657. <coughs> and now I need to think of another triangle that I can find in there that will be a right angle triangle that has the height as one of its edges. <coughs> and if you look here, the height comes down and it, it makes a perpendicular with that diagonal that we just drew in. So my height will make a new right angle triangle that's vertically through the pyramid like so, going from the center out to the corner edge and then up along the 12 and back down. So I've now got a new pyramid that's got the height here, 12 centimeters along the edge, and the bottom of it is only half of the diagonal I just found. So in this case, I'm going to divide that by 2, so that I get 2.828, roughly. <coughs> and this is this bit here, half of that distance across the bottom. So 2.828 there. And this time I'm finding the short side. So h is going to be equal to the square root of the long side, 12 squared minus 2.828 squared, all in brackets. And that's equal to roughly 11.66 centimeters. So my height inside this pyramid is going to be 11.66 centimeters tall. And I found that again by flipping this three-dimensional shape upside down and looking at the bottom. I've got a 4 by 4, which allows me to find the diagonal of that. And then looking for another three-dimensional, or another right angle triangle, I can see that I can get the height by making a right angle triangle that's standing vertically inside, with its bottom along the diagonal out to the corner. So I needed half the distance of the diagonal, and then from there I can find out the rest of the shape. So, that should give you a head start on these. Um, give a go and check your answers at the end. Talk to me if you've got more questions.